Okay, so this is quite a complicated looking question, but the most important thing is we break it down. So it says a circle is drawn inside a square, the square has a height of 12 centimeters. So the first thing to notice is it's a square, therefore the width is also going to be 12. And be careful to look out for that. Whenever you've got a square, they might only give you one of the dimensions. They won't always say it's a 12 by 12 square. Okay, so you've always got to assume that the other one, or you've always got to know that the other side is going to be the same. Okay, so let's work out the shaded area. So the thing we notice is it's like a quarter of the square, but with the circle removed, okay? So the first thing to do is work out the area of the square. So area of square. Okay, so the area of the square is going to be quite easy. It's going to be 12 times 12, which is 144 centimeters squared. Okay, next thing to work out is the area of the circle. Okay, now this you need to remember the formula, which is pi r squared. Okay, and that you do need to know because you're not given that in the exam. So it's going to be pi times, and now what is the radius of that circle? So the radius is halfway across the circle. Now the circle has the same height as the square, or the same diameter uh, as the square's height, okay? So the radius is half of that, so it's going to be 6. So it's going to be pi 6 squared. 6 squared is 36, and we write that as 36 pi, okay? Now, it's a non-calculator question, or it could be in the non-calculator, it could be in either, okay? But it does ask us to give our answer in terms of pi, so we're not going to go any further than that, we'll leave it as 36 pi. Okay, so we need to work out the area of um, all of the outside, okay? So we're going to do all of the outside, okay? Including this a shaded bit, okay? So area outside circle. So I'm trying to show the examiner that I'm working out the area um, that I've shaded in red. So the area of that is the area of the square, which is 144. Take away the area of the circle, which is 36 pi. Okay. Now to work out the shaded area, which is what the question asked for, now, looking at that, we've got four parts. We've got this part, this part, this part, and this part. And all four of them are equal, and we only want one of them. Okay? So, to work out the shaded area, we get our answer from before, and we divide it by four. So, we're going to divide the 144 by four. And it's dead easy to divide by four, because you halve it, then halve it again. So, half of 144, well, half of 140 is 70. Half of 4 is 2, so that's going to be 72. Then half of 70, half of half of 72 is going to be half of 70, which is 35. Half of 2, which is 1, so it's going to be, um, what did I say, 36. So it's uh, 35 plus 1, which is 36. Okay, next we're going to halve the 36 pi. So we only need to halve the number before the pi, and that would have the same effect. So we're going to halve 30, uh, 36, or we're going to divide it by 4, but we're going to halve it first, which is 18, then halve it again, which is 9. So we need to divide each one by 4. So I've divided that by 4 to get to 36, and I've divided that by 4 to get to 9. So my answer is 36 take away 9 pi.